good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you... I welcome back to the beat up plan as we return to our Crimson Chateau Estate within the darkest dungeon. Now, I haven't played this game in, I think, three, four weeks, almost, something like that. And if you're wondering why in the hell I did do that, well, yeah, I'm afraid you're going to have to look at my last vlog, and in case this is in the future, let's just say that personal circumstances caused me to be a little bit less enthusiastic about computer gaming and rather than spending time with the family. Having gotten that out of the way, time to, of course, subject myself to the greatest threats I've known, and that is going back into the courtyard. The infestation is medium only, but I don't know if I am good enough to play again at the maximum level. I have now upgraded all the best gear to Arthur, Valak, Rav, and Bloody Mary. They're going to go back in. Um, Valak? Yeah, Valak, because Valak, you have where was it? heart skins. That's why I chose you over, over Jordan. Even if you have a few more uh, quirks that are negative, but they apply to skills that you don't really use. So we're gonna go back in with this team. Uh, last time it was amazing, they did incredibly well. They're going to try and clear as much of this probably crazy ass long dungeon as possible. I'm not sure if we're going to finish it this time around or if I'm going to play as well because we are going to go into a champion version this time. And although these guys are level 6 and the, but the highest rank there is, um, uh, the higher ranks there is, not about. That, that, that's not true. That this is the highest rank there is. Although you could perhaps consider somebody that's gone to the darkest dungeon even higher, but they don't get statistical bonuses. So uh, we're going to rocket with this team. Of course, I'm going to rocket with the same things as I'm going as I rocked before because that worked awesome, and I don't see a reason to change the winning team. Besides, I do really, really love this Paladin setup. 74 hit points. Oh yeah. Deadly, I would like to keep on him, but we'll see. Uh, whatever you're not. Uh, of course, Vor, the Houndmaster, will also rock his personal trinkets. Don't mind if I do. And then the question becomes, oh, well, Bloody Mary, we know what you're going to rock because, well, this is just more or less obligated for you to have strong, strong heals in this place. Uh, we do have now also the Book of Holy Healing? No, we don't actually. We have the Book of Holiness, but not of Holy Healing. Which is an even stronger uh, healing buff, but then again, your stun resistances go really low. Uh, and then we have a Valak remaining. We do nowadays have the Tempting Goblet, and we tend to rock for him the Martyr Seal, uh, which is down over in here, which gives an incredible amount of buffs when you are at Death's Door, and Death's Blow Resistance plus maximum health. But this gives also maximum health. Uh, 10 Virtue Chance. Um, that's not too problem. Oh, but oh, holy heck. <laughs> Didn't notice that it was a 35% additional stress. That is tremendous. No, we're not gonna rock that. Not at all. Um, you've done. What the heck did I equip last time? I know he has this one, but I don't really think he needs bleeding skills. Oh, damage versus bloodsuckers. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I'll look at that. That sounds like a good idea. For all that is good, once again, we're going to provision. Venturing into the courtyard will consume one invitation. Of course, we only have but one invitation. So let's hope that this is a, a good one, so to speak. And that we can get quite far. Still embark. Mm. We know shovels are important in here. And yes, we're going below the 100,000, but... Well, that's the way it is. We do not have vampires at the moment, but... We're going into the courtyard, so I'm not going to go in there without blood. Uh, food, absolutely necessary. Um, we'll take it, but I don't think we're going to take extra long. Keys and a little bit of herbs. And I'm not going to take the bleeds. 
And we don't need torches. Well, there are some good uses for torches, so let's just take a few torches with us. And embark. The feasting and revelry would last for weeks at a time. Great stone tables were set with such an abundance of rare delicacies that we would stuff ourselves until the exotic became mundane. When the lavish spread began to spoil, a ravenous gourmand gleefully proposed that we sample from the fetid pile of composting refuse. The notion was dismissed as decidedly unhealthy. But days later, he was found cackling madly atop a heap of rancid comestibles, licking his fingers in delight. Yeah. All right. The corpulent braggart could never eat his fill. Let him dine on sharpened steel tonight. Hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, I think we get goodies from you when we burn you, right? If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Not the kind of treasure I was hoping for. We of course looking mainly for those unique trinkets. This is a team and a half because these guys can do a heck ton of damage. He's one hit point of dying. Ugh. Let's just get the protections up. A little bit of stress. Rip cracker. Moves into the back to where's that very dangerous position for that type of person. Here comes the horror already. Festering fear consumes the mind. And he got enough of a buff in health that he won't die from the bloody thing. But we will take care of them right defensive. now. I really wish I could kill him, because he's going to get reposted, but... And he is the least of our troubles when we want to cheese out the fight again, which of course we do want in this place. Um, unfortunately, we can't stun him, but we can try her, but it's another dodge. Damsel Distress, this is a new move by my knowledge. Oh, she makes herself guard like a... Oh, he doesn't do the repose thing. But uh, she makes it. Um, uh, darn it! Like uh, the antiquarian. That's it. Wow, wow. Apparently lost out of words. There we go. Um, then again, should I take him? Because he's now just damaged. She's now the stress dealer. We need to take care of her. I just realized. Okay, not playing exactly according to. Um the best ideas. Take it over. Because we need to stun her. That's kind of what we need to do here. She is bleeding, but that will... Oh, there's the first. So now she also is a distress dealer, so then it doesn't matter. Okay, now we just need to get our team into uh, more... Better numbers versus their numbers. So we need to kill something, and then we'll start stress healing again. It's a little annoying, considering the bleed out it gives. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Alright. Expose the thing. Debuff plus marking. Alright. Um, I'll take away the bleed. And. 22 crit heal. Thank you, Bloody Mary. And it's time for us to work on that stress. I 
guess we'll do this then. Just get the protections up of Valak to crazy high levels as we uh, start taking care of our stress that was just caused by this fight alone. Just one fight and already we have people over 30 stress. It's, it's painful. Trying to crit heal, doesn't matter. We are in recovery phase. All that matters now is stress. And keeping the health up. Nice, bombing run filled. Protection's now up to 120%. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I know it's even capped out at the 90, so... If you want to be particular about it, it's actually kind of pointless, but... There we go. Expose the vein. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. That's fine. That's fine. It really is. I'm not sure if... No. Nice resisted vampirism again, Valak. Very nicely done. Yeah, I need to de-stress here a little. Uh, I wish those things would go a little bit better. Thank you. That is a, a good profit. And I don't mean the profit as in the faith thing, you know. I mean as in that we yield more than stress than they did stress to us. Double hit, but no crit, no bleed. Here, if we do that, then we're we're doing well. Expose the vein again. It's not a very high attack when we have so many protections, so then it really doesn't matter. Nine, Nike, look at it. Already working fine. Deafening wine. All right, we will have to. Give some special attention to Bloody Mary. Also, she got stunned. Renew appetite. That's a new one. We have an additional amount of stress and blight possible and damage. That is a a heavy attack there. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Well, let's do a, you know, a little heal. Let's reduce that stress. Double dodge on the bombing run. That doesn't seem to be his best ability by far. I think we need to start uh, doing some damage. The stress is low. We need to start uh, taking care of business. Still would like to remove a little bit more stress than I have right now, but we're definitely going to take care of business here. She will die unless she heals. Which she does tremendously. Well, actually, she doesn't heal as tremendously, but the the hit was pretty severe for her first hit. That does actually very minimal damage. Surprisingly enough. Um. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. There we go. Do some extra damage, get some heals in. There we go, stress free. And Valak goes even before anything else. And that should be a kill. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. With a nice reward at the end. And it's only the first corridor. We're already 15 minutes in. Yeah, this these type of dungeons, they're a little nuts. Um I fear him more than I fear her. I don't like his repose attack. That doesn't mean what I, I dislike about him. That's the first. That already means that her stress attacks are gone, so I'm A-OK -okay with that. And if we can get a decent judgment of 
he would be dead, so I'm gonna try and do that. That is not a very decent judgment. That was actually minimal damage judgment, I believe. I know we don't have the numbers yet, but that was a little too much stress uh, on the go on my Crusader, and hitting him will definitely make sure that he will die. Um, a little too much focus on the Crusader here. Infallible Servitude. Nice, that means you actually spend a turn doing nothing, because he is about to die. Um, Divine Comfort, who knows the crits, the there we go. Pumps. The limbs obey. And we'll start hitting her. I don't think this is a team where we need to spend more time on than is necessary. There's definitely some stress between these two, but uh, that, that enraging slight that does more. That oh, that enraging slight is actually does more st stress than I thought it did. That is annoying. Okay, now we have these two. Let's do, do the stress because I'm missing every attack. Apparently the game is trying to tell me something. A Ow. blow to body and brain. Alright, alright, we'll do a recovery phase. I kind of hope to skip it for once. De-stress moment. Uh, in fact, Lance ahead. You really, really hard. Ten damage. You will die. Awesome. Heal via some damage. Choose. Sedated. And oh yeah, you are nearly unstunnable. Just like those little small little flies. There we go. Did you have to target Bloody Mary again? That's again so much stress. We do have to work on him, don't get me wrong. Oh! I was going to do a lot of de-stress, but that crit was welcome as well. Um, we're going to be here in a long time. I think actually stacking up... I think you can stack these up to 5. So that's more than 2,500. These are really not the big thing here. Extra blood. I already have enough blood. I didn't gain a vampire. Don't really see the point right now. And lovely those scouts. There is already a locked room. Already. Oh, well, right is always right, right? That's what we uh, discovered the last time, or that was our uh, method the last time. I'm not gonna waste on you because I rather want these to be minus 30 stress relief. That's what I want to use them for. Alright. I'm getting a less good feeling about right is right. But who knows? Perhaps there's... Gr ah! That is a stress relief one. But we don't have a lot of it, so... I don't feel the necessity to do it right now. There's nothing over here! Well! Shoot! Well, that was a waste of time. Apparently, I should go left in this dungeon. Perhaps because right was right last time, now left feels a little bit underappreciated and would also like to be part of this campaign. Oh, I guess I cannot deny him that. There we 
go. At least this was a very short quarter. There's not a lot to, like... Am I going to use a shovel on this? No, because I... This gives rewards, but rewards will come through the fights. I'd rather use the shovels for possible camping or uh, removing obstacles that block our way. I think only water works on this. Let's try that. There we go. We only had one holy water anyway, so... We miss, missed the scout. Interesting. It had to go on here because we, we needed we needed to find the key. So uh, we don't need these rewards. Thank you very much. There's a lot of possible reward gain in this dungeon. Oh, hello. That is not a difficult fight if we can kick his ass. Um, and you are a big guy, so I can destroy these little two if I leave him up and there wouldn't be too much of a problem. Maddening oil, alright. I am going to focus on you, because you are the only one that can give me a vampire, so... With the bleed, it's not strong enough yet. We can pray, okay, it gets marked. That sets up for his stronger attacks. What if we stun him? Which we don't. So that was a bit of a waste of turn, I understand. Well, you are dead regardless. That damage was good enough, buddy boy. Ah, oh, too bad. He went first, because now he probably uh, will do the first. He went first, so he will do the first. But we will happily the take this and then falls, because he's a big guy blossoms. we can uh, take a little bit more time 14 damage only that is surprisingly low um, you are on half your health is that already activating your ability I think so right it was 50 or below even if it says below 50 uh, shoot you know what? Let's do some extra protections here as well. Yeah, it is. I was right. All right. But 44 cred heal. And you wonder why the flagellant is good? Well, that's one of the explanations for it. Uh, we can actually start trying to kill him. We have a 45% chance of stun. So please, come on. Ah, again, filled. Tentacle devour. Small debuff, not a problem. A miss. I am surprised. A little bit of extra bleed. A little bit of party heal. Because all that damage on our Crusader just really doesn't matter because he has just way too many hit points. Tentacle Devour again. And then we'll do a nice big strong personal heal on him. He is pretty slow, so we can probably. Size alone does not dissuade the the tech can still have the other people go, but unless we crit. Oh well. We heal up in another fight. Alright, we got a little bit of a bigger scout this time. Does that then also mean there are no fights at all here that we got a bigger scout? Does that mean that we scout ourselves? Because you always get one room for free to scout, but... but... Let's see what this fight is about. And these guys don't do a lot of damage. It's these two that I kind of want to kill. They can cause more stress than what I have you not. So... We'll focus on this guy and that guy. Oh! Double. No, not a double dodge, but still a lot of dodging. Soothed. Sedated. 
not the first, but that protection buff might make it hard for our singer to kill him. Blight is fine. These don't these two don't have a lot of damage. Their main um, thing, I, I at least I feel, is the fact that they can cause you to become a vampire. Get the Crimson Curse. The bleed is being, is not that big that we need to uh, take it over. Voila, we have the uh, numbers advantage. Time to take care of our wounds. If they constantly target just one person, Such a terrible and they don't crit, <laughs> then our heals are strong enough to keep up with them. I'm actually going to mark myself here. Just to get some extra protections. And we're gonna take the mark off, but thereby giving you a little bit more protections, and then we can start taking care of the stress as well. And because I'm a little too scared about my Vestal, she's gonna first personally heal herself before we start group healing. There's get her the blood. There we go. Stress lowering and indeed via the mark we have done well for ourselves in regards of who they target. Um, A momentary abatement. Let's start with whittling them down. There we go. No stress. Even with this little red only missing, it's actually 10 hit points. It's because our Crusader just has so many things to that double trickle combo. Resist another time the Crimson Curse. Which I do really appreciate, to be honest. As I said, we're gonna whittle them down, so we're going to actually divide a little bit our damage so that we can heal up properly. Um, there we go. That's unfortunate. But not something we can overcome. Certainly, we immediately start critting that already. Nice dodge. So, next turn, you die from bleed. And the turn after, you... Uh, no, not yet. So, we'll have to hit you one more time. And there is a Crimson Curse. Yeah, I can't prevent all of them. You're in on their territory. What did you think? That you would come out uh, without any Crimson Curse? Then you are a fool. Gently. And they die this too quick. Is our life is taken. They die too quick. Couldn't heal up anymore. But there's a next fight around the corner that we are just about to enter. Oh, I thought it was, but it wasn't. My mistake. Uh, no scout of ourselves. I reckon. Because we don't see what's in this room. Oh yeah, these things of course also need uh, torches. It's a good thing I brought them with me. Alright. Let's see what's in here. Nothing special. Alright. Oh, that is definitely a scout of our own. Don't know if that means that this is the end of the corridor though. Now be careful, because these traps here, it's so hard to, to, to spot them, I feel. But 95% resistance is really nice. And we're 95 resistance. Chance to disarm a trap. Yeah, so there is indeed more behind it. And that then isn't one of our own scouts, it's just a standard scout, because here we didn't uh, see what's in this room. At least that's that's how I believe it works. Oh no! Maggot! Um for your heals? For your stress relief? Oh! Oh! Okay. They're not gonna go down without a fight apparently. First the numbers, then we'll start healing people proper. Don't forget though they can give diseases, they can stun, they can give stress. Like that. 
So, just don't count them out completely. Ah, they resist the bleed again. There we go. Grave Nibble again, but this time a nice dodge. Um. Let's get some protections up. Let's get some stress relief. Hey! I marked the flagellant. Ooh, there's the disease resistance, but the stun. Which means we can't heal our hound master, which is a little annoying. Compassion I know the hound master is lower, but of battle. yeah, actually, there was no reason to. <laughs> I did what I just did there. Uh, that wasn't played very well. I have to. Was not a good play. Grave double again, and a crit. Unbalanced. Now all of a sudden we have stress. I was just about to get ready to kick their arses, but then that happened. But, once again, as I said before, it's so interesting that they go like, <gasps> It's a crit of 14 damage, it's not like they're only with two and we can heal everything away, and there is like no um, parameter for that coded in. There we go. Grave nibble. Again. Of course, it's like the only thing they can do. Dazed. It is the only thing they can do. Why do they keep critting me all of a sudden? Stop critting me, please. Sedated. Because all of a sudden we have more stress than we had uh, just a while ago. Thanks to all those crits you guys have given me. Well, that's pretty low stress, so... We just need to de-stress our Houndmaster once, and we need to start hitting these guys. At least if they don't now start critting me all of a sudden again and stun and what have you on it. Mortality clarified in a single strike. And then they gave me the disease. What's the fits? Minus five accuracy. You... Bastard little thingies! I. Fine! I've had enough of you. Five accuracy drop is bad on this high level. A crit again! Turns. What the heck is up here? Why do all of a sudden maggots crit so much? Why do maggots crit so much? I have gained more stress than I lost stress in this, this battle. And I can't keep them up forever because they, well, they do what I, they just did, give me diseases. This is really weird. I have, I'm coming out of this fight with more stress than I had when I, wow, and I'm missing even. That's hit only one person, so that's also not good. Annihilated. Well, let's at least do that one then. And I have, in this team, no way to remove uh, a disease. So we also make use of the heal. So he's uh, he's completely distressed. Your bleed resistance isn't that super high. Well, I don't know why these guys did so much trouble for made so much trouble for me, but they just did. This momentum. Push on to the tasks and the fits is really annoying due to the accuracy. Thing. If it was enemy or something, it would have been much better, which, uh, by the way, is the virtue chance, if at least I do that correctly out of the, on the top of my head, but, yeah. Nope, we're not gonna give you blood. This is blood for poor trinkets, it's not a good value trade. The amount of fights is actually hasn't been that super uh, it's that crazy. And I'd like to get one more fight in probably before we end it. Oh shoot. Well now we're definitely going to focus on you too, because you do so much damage. Uh in fact 
because we will need to make room later anyways. Let's just make sure that our team can clear this out. A dodge. Not good. Yeah, this. This is just standard damage. 13, 11. Double stun. These guys are nuts, in my opinion. Uh, our Vestal is nearly dead. And because she's stunned, I can't heal her right now. And he freaking doesn't take the bleed, so he will survive the next blow. I am not a happy camper right now. Yeah. Going for the Vestal, I understand, but I don't like it. No, please don't. We're at Death's door. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. We're at Death's door. Of course, we can remove that immediately due to the small little heal of the Crusader, but that is just the ridiculousness of these two. These guys, they have way too much damage. Uh, no, definitely go here. Perhaps I should have actually lowered their protections, so I, which I didn't do this time around. Please hit and heal. Probably should have just just healed, but... Oh man, we need to heal everywhere now. Um... There's also quite a bit of stress on our Crusader. That removes that a little bit uh, of the problem of there. Ten. Uh, we can't hit him anymore, so he's gonna get at least one more attack off. Uh, that means a full heal. Well, not a full heal, but a, a directed heal on the vessel. I'm actually surprised how well uh, he's hitting despite his curse. Uh, not his curse, his, uh, his disease. Subterranean skewer, and that is okay if he takes damage. That's fine. Now we can do the big heals. Now we're not reliant on the vessel alone anymore. But there he is a big ass old heal. Prefer to deal with the stress at the moment. Um, because he's dead. This is already more or less a uh, restoration phase. Get out of the blood. Again. Bye bye. Um, yeah, the Hound Master still is pretty stressed. Alright. I think it's time to start hitting other people again. There we go. Yeah, but we do our damage through bleed mainly. You will die unless you start uh, using your healing attack. Which you probably will do. Yeah, you do. Well, that means no stress from you, which is a okay with me as well. Uh, and you just can't hit this guy yet. How much more rounds? Just make sure that he dies then from the next uh, blow. Yeah, not a very good one. Heal it all up. Bloody Mary, there we go. He's still protected, so I can't do anything additional about it. That's really unfortunate. But there is our opportunity to start striking you. you oh, you won't go first before. This is a chance to kill you then. Ah, again, so low damage. Why? 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 Um. 
Yeah, I'm actually gonna do this. So that the health is full, the stress is done. There we go. We're coming out of this fight with these much tougher dudes with less stress than we came out of the maggots. There is the book of victory. So Ruby too will resistance. Add more blood. Um, we're definitely going to take the ruby with us. It's currently less in the stack, but if we find one additional one, it is awesome. This, of course, will go on top of there. The Book of Rage, plus 25 damage if below 33% health, plus 5% crit chance if below 33% health. Um, if my... Um, flagellant goes below 33% health, I rather like to heal. There is, of course, this damaging ability that he can do at that moment. There it will help. Th that's now the best use, I think, of this book. But do I want to drop anything? I, I can take the key with me for sure. I don't think this book is worth dropping anything right now. Well, I can take it over to Crests, perhaps. But no, but I have, like, very, very little heirlooms at this moment. If I want to build anything up at all... I hadn't made a choice that before I went into this dungeon. Perhaps I should have considered that and uh, discussed with myself beforehand if I wanted to have this trinket, but I don't think so. I don't think new. We'll try and stack this up for the money. We'll do this. I think it's fine. We have one vampire, no yet need of blood. Uh, we can give her this currently. She gets a little buff. I don't know if that delays the need for blood again, but let's just do that. And I. Uh, We'll go to this room, and then we'll end the episode. That is just for rewards, not for stress relief. Besides, the stress is really fine. The, those maggots did more than big as old scary vampire creatures, which is uh, a little weird. So this uh, corridor, this split, you will see that in the end I find here nothing and I have to go all the way back. But that is for our next episode. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril. Yields great beauty.